Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. How are you all doing? Oh, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. We are over here uh, at the Quartz Craft Quests because uh, today is Sunday the 31st of May. It's currently almost 6 p.m. British summertime, which means we have about four hours left on this. Um, but we're going to get on with the episode in the meantime, and then hopefully at the end we'll be able to reveal who's won uh, this quest. Uh, I'm not going to look in any of the boxes, uh, because I've seen them before. Uh, and also, you'll be able to see... You've got most of an art studio. Uh, it's mostly there. Um, I still need to decide what I want to do about the second floor. Um, I've tried putting in white glass as a window. I'm not sure about it. I might honestly remove it. Uh, there's also a torch on the inside of the window. Just ignore that. I also need to get the garden in still. Um, but if we come in here, we have a, a small reception area. This is where um, people are going to be able to put their uh, commissions. Uh, I've still got building materials and stuff over here from making it. But if we come up here, we have a second floor, which is empty at the minute. It's going to be used for a wool shop, though. So I'm going to try and get a shulker box of each colour and fill each up with wool uh, eventually. And then if we come up right up to the top, we have a little art studio. So this is uh, an easel, basically. We've got a bed here. We have some storage as well. Um, they're all empty at the minute. We've got some flowers out the window. Some pretty nice views as well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, if we come over this way, uh, you can sort of see out quite nicely. Um, yeah, so I did a lot of this work on a stream, so, wow, uh, I did I did that a lot on the stream as well. If you aren't already, I would really appreciate it if you go and check out my Twitch page. Uh, it's linked down in the description, but the address is twitch.tv slash roseartemis, same as how uh, my YouTube username is spelt. Um, but today's episode, we're going to start trying to find a place, or trying to find the place where we're going to actually do our art. So I am going to hop over onto the creative server for a bit, because we have a creative version of the world so people can plan things out, uh, where I have found the location where I would like to build this. So I will see you in a sec. Okay, I am on the creative server. It's currently raining. Uh, um... Just set the weather to clear for a while. Also, I should mention, this is not a glitch, this is not broken or anything. We are inside what's called an infinity box. So if I... Um, oh, that's the wrong thing. If I click that, you can see we are 100% surrounded on all sides by completely uh, filled in white maps. Uh, and that's because... If I take this off, we have found a place where we are going to hopefully be doing our art. So let's just replace these. The reason we have a terracotta area here as well is because Seru asked me to see if one would fit alongside where I want to do my art. Um, but this is the size of the area that we're going to need. It's rather large. Uh, it's 128 blocks by 128 blocks, and you can see if we have the map here, it's all completely blank. Uh, the reason we have up here, um, the reason we have a black stripe across the top is because if you just have the carpet and then nothing directly north of it, um, there is a white or a sort of slightly lighter texture. So we'll remove some of that, we'll update the map, and you can see there that the texture is slightly lighter. Uh, we want to avoid having that border, so for now uh, I've put some black carpet here. Um, and this is exactly the right size for the map as well. So if we stand over in this corner, um, then we are right on the corner of the map. 
and if we stand over in that corner we'll be right on the other corner of the map. Uh, let's just set time to day uh, so that it doesn't get dark. So this is what we're going to be starting work on. Uh, the coordinates that I need to look out for are, if we come over here, 960, 64, and 3776. So I have these written down, uh, so I can go and find them, and I will bring you back in when we're here in the overworld. There's also, if we come over here, something else that we might need to take care of at some point. Um, aha, yes, here. There's a guardian temple right by where we're needing to build. So we might have to deal with that first. I'm not entirely sure I have the gear for that, though. So um, we might not actually be able to start art projects quite yet, but we'll take care of that soon. Uh, I will hop back over onto the regular server, um, and I will see you in a sec. I'll be right back. OK, we are back over at my base on the survival server again, and I have just completely emptied out my stone chest into all of these shulker boxes. I already had these full in my stone chest. Uh, we've added two more shulker boxes uh, because we're going to need a lot of stone to do what we want. Um, so let's head over here uh, and let's get our bearings. Actually, let's head out the other door. That will be slightly easier. I don't know if I have enough rockets for this trip. I can only hope that I do. Uh, but we are about to travel a thousand blocks, I think, in that direction. We've got uh, south, which is towards positive Z. We don't need to go too far that much. I think we actually need to go that way. Yeah, west to negative X. Um, so it's 960 by 3776 uh, is what we're looking out for. Uh, so we're going to have to go uh, about mm, 2,000 blocks by 1,000 blocks or so. So let's take off. And uh, I don't know if I'll have you with me for all the flight. Um, but what I want to do is, at least for now, just establish a small platform there um, that we can start working from. Uh, we're also going to... I don't know if we're generating new terrain. I don't know if anyone's been around this part yet, because I know Marley's been exploring some of the world border. Um, but we're also going to have to do this... Uh, in the overworld with flying. We've got plenty of elytra durability, which is good. Um, but we're going to see some sights that maybe no one's ever seen before, which is cool. We need to turn quite hard this way. Um, oh. Flying's still a little iffy on the server. Um, so let's... Uh, okay, in a second here, we should start to see uh, the ocean. Oh, look, there's a buried temple right next to a desert village. That's a cool area. Um, okay, so I think it's minus 960 by 2776 uh, is the area we need to go to. So let's keep flying for a bit. Um, hopefully soon we should start coming across a rather large ocean. Um, it's 3776, isn't it? Oh, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Um, let's, if we head to, uh, back in this direction. Look, directions are not my strong suit, okay? If we head back in this direction, we might start to actually find what we are looking for. Uh, this feels like it is generating new terrain now, though. Um, and if it's not over in this direction, let's just... Um, make sure that we're still... flying in the right way. Aha, here's a large ocean. Okay, it's around here somewhere, so let's just slow right down uh, and go and find the exact spot. Okay, there's 960, 
and we need 3776 and that's where we're going to plop some stuff down. So just here is exactly where we need to start our uh, thing. We actually need to start it at 3775 where we are right now. So I'm going to at least build a pillar up here so we know where the corner is. Uh, let's... We are right on the edge of an underwater ravine here. Um, let's just get this shulker box out and get some stone out in our inventory. Uh, I can hear a drowned as well, which is going to be fun. Uh, let's go and get some more air quickly. Let's just take on this guy. Okay. Right here. So it's right on top of this block, right on the edge of the ravine, which honestly is perfect. So let's start building up from here. And then we'll at least have a place to stand, although I am going to actually jump on it before we jump up here. What I'm also going to do is just take us a few blocks in the wrong direction and start to build a small little pad that we can uh, maybe build like a nether portal from. Um, and uh, we can just like have a bed here for while we're working, that sort of thing, you know? Uh, so this is 3775, so we need to go this way and this way. So I'll put that in there to remind us. Okay, I'll continue working on this for a sec and I'll bring you back in when I've got some basic necessities over here like a bed and a nether portal. Um, for now though, I've got to fly all the way back to my base. I should have thought of that before doing that really, shouldn't I? Oh well. Um, I will see you in a few minutes once I've done all that. Okay, we have a small little island here. I'm just going to put some torches around the place so that we don't get any mobs spawning here. I'm going to move the bed slightly as well. Um, we'll where shall we put the bed? Uh, put the bed like there. Perfect. Uh, I haven't lit the nether portal yet but we'll do that in a sec here. Um, so let's grab the flint and steel. There we go. Uh, we shouldn't link to any other portals. I don't think we're close enough by to anything for that. So let's hop through. Um, and let's see if we can't get a, a good sort of view of where we are. Um, it looks fairly unexplored already. And I'm assuming we head in this direction, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's just have a quick look and see if we can see any signs of building. There's a ghast there. Let's just... Oh, I missed. Okay. Because um, if we can find any torches or any signs of pathways or anything, then we know which direction we need to be going to link this all up. Uh, I think it should be that direction, sort of. Uh, negative Z, positive X, yes, is roughly where our portal will be. Um, so I'm sure we will be able to get back there uh, eventually. For now, I'm going to come back through here um, to our portal. Uh, and we are going to start work on the ow on the stone platform that we're building for it. Um, so, it is almost night time, but uh, what I'm going to need to do is, let's take the flint and steel off the hotbar, is essentially, uh, if we do that, we are going to have to build with this much stone in that direction. Uh, or technically that direction, we'll go. We'll have to go one extra in this direction because we've got this one line at the top as well. 
because uh, this is 3775 and the map starts at 3776. So I am going to get started on that and uh, I'm just going to put a cut in the recording quickly so I can put in a very short time lapse of me doing that. Uh, so let's go to sleep and then I will see you on the other side of the time lapse. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So we, uh, well, I decided to do both axes of the uh, of this area um, just to get a feel for how big it will be. And I don't think we'll properly do that until we're in the air. So let's go up here and have a look at the mammoth task we have before us. Uh, there's quite a large amount of ocean that we're going to need to cover. Uh, so this area is 128 blocks by 129. Um, it's going to require about 100... And, mm, no, it might even require more than that. It's going to require a lot of stone. Uh, I don't even know if all the stone we have here is going to be enough. And speaking of, let's just get all these shulker boxes out of our inventory. I'm going to use the rosebud ones first, which is why they're here, but uh, for now I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, I'm going to try and make some progress today. I don't know how much it'll be, uh, but I will bring you back in when I need to work on something else so that my hands stop hurting or I stop going uh, a little bit loopy. So I will see you in a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done a, a couple of rows of this, and I thought it might be a good idea um, if we took an empty map here. I've just been back to my base to get this. The path through the nether is interesting, but if we do this, uh, then we can see the progress we've made. Uh, also, Magpie has just joined the game. Apparently things are getting very heated in uh, the Rook household. <laughs> uh, about my uh, quest that I've set. So that's fun. Um, but we've we've got a stripe down the side of a map. Uh, it means, it, it, it shows me that we've done it right and in exactly the right place as well, which is very nice. Um, so I'm going to continue with this probably off camera and I'll, uh, it'll be something I'll probably show you guys at the beginning of the next episode once I'm done with it. Um, for now, I'm going to carry on a little bit, and also I shall show you guys the ending of our competition as well. Uh, I need to check how much I've recorded, actually, for this episode, because I'm not sure yet. Um, but for now, we're just going to pop that map in there. Uh, I'm going to place a bit more stone, and I will see you in a sec. Be right back. Okay, so we're just over here at the... Uh Quartzcraft quest and I spare magpie. Um, that's right, it is past 10 o'clock on Sunday, so I'm going to take these signs down and we are going to see who had won the competition. Uh, so, Marley has uh, 11, 11 uh, full shulker boxes of glass, which is, that's a lot, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Um, Spock has quite a few as well, but not as much as Marley. Uh, no one else on this side. Oh, um, our newest member has some as well. 
Magpie has oh eleven 11 shulkers on one glass. I think Magpie's done that on purpose. Um, and then Seru has about a stack, and I think that's it. So Magpie, by being sneaky, has, uh, I think, one by one block. So let's get all of this, and let's head back over to our house with it. Um, this is going to take a bit to transport, I think. There's a, a, a lot of it here. Um, okay, let's just also have brought some wool across. Uh, so I'm going to put some uh, consolation prizes in the people who didn't win chests. Uh, and I've got a prize here for Magpie, which uh, I will put in her chest in a second which is a ticket for one free uh, commission from my art shop when it's opened. Um, I'm making good progress on the stone platform. I've done a little bit more off stream and hopefully soon enough we can have that up and running as a proper art shop. So let's give everyone who par participated five diamonds and uh, half a stack of wool. Um, I think I'm also, because it was so close, I think I'm also going to have to do some runner-up prizes as well. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some money off coupons for the commission shop. Uh, so I will get to those once I've finished sorting all of this out. Um, okay, where else was there glass? There was some there. I've put that in there already. And, ah, yeah, here we go. Um, so I think uh, that should be it, which means I brought one extra half stack of wool but that's fine um the wool is kind of a mini advert advertisement for what the shop's going to be um but okay let's get um let's craft those back into blocks and then we'll try and fit as much glass as we can uh in there i mustn't forget to take it out of there actually because that's my wallet shulker box but i'm, I'm sure i'll remember she says knowing full well that there's every chance she'll forget uh, let's put this in here and pick that one up and put that in there. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.